Can I see the clicker code? Yes. They printed themselves locally. 
quality of your communication skills, writing skills, presentation skills, PPTs, and this and that. And at the end, we will choose from each theme. There are about uh, 131 teams taking part, and uh, in in four themes, right? So about uh, 35 in each. So what you do all the initiatives that are happening as part of the project. The first thing is you identify the stakeholders, the students, colleges, and teachers. And all the initiatives now we have grouped them. How we are targeting students? How we are targeting the colleges and teachers? They come together as one unit, and how we are targeting them. So the competitions, as Sir said, and then workshops, projects, and internships for students. And here in the last year, to Kashmir, right? In Srinagar, they were so overwhelmed. I remember the dean saying that 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 we are so pleased that the government of India is taking interest in us. They were very interested in it. And uh, the students there were second to none. I mean, they were very smart. The kids there, right? and we were really overwhelmed. We want to start a modular center where they take the knowledge and they have a lab set up where they can assign projects to their students using the where they initiate the colleges initially through the workshop and tell them that you have to set up infrastructure. We will start you by giving you a small, you know, starting kit, and then we engage the teacher as the Yantra Robotics Teacher Competition. While they are going through this competition, the setup will take place. They will place a purchase order, get the lab. At the end of the competition, when they are ready to uh, you know, give a prize, we have a template for everything which they can use to uh, implement their own projects. Yeah, so, yeah. So, Just go to the slide. Yeah, yeah and uh, identify uh, red lines this and align the cutting mechanism which they have to develop yeah, kind of along with the stalk of the fruit. Cut so that it drops collect through a basket of their own design. Then go to the next one. How do I program a robot? The research which is happening in the lab is new paradigm for the programming these ro the, the robots at a high level of abstraction. Now we have a problem that 100 projects, right? Two minutes. For one minute. So how do we, how do we, how do we uh, make our IP that we have, which is the application code, independent of the actual robot? That means that I should be able to use this on a bigger robot, this code. And the processor can be an add-on, it can be a Raspberry Pi, it can be a mobile phone, it can be anything else, or the processing can be in the cloud. And new languages to make it easier to program. So we are using Scilab to do image processing.